Hey everybody, it's feed time. We're gonna talk about feed because I'm changing. Decided, I wanna try a little something different. Maybe save a little money, but at the same time, improve my quality. So it's not often we can improve the quality and save money at the same time, but I think here I can. So I thought I'd take a minute, I'll show you. We're gonna go inside, get out of the wind. A little bit warmer in there. Stick with me. All right, got inside, got out of the wind a little. A little bit cold and breezy, but then again, it is the end of the year. So, and it's hard to believe Christmas is almost, you know, speaking of, you know how you can tell Christmas is almost here? Because every YouTube channel you watch, they're all hawking t-shirts. Everybody's got a t-shirt to sell. No, I'm not selling t-shirts. But I got a sweatshirt, but if you're interested, it's down in the description. But let's talk sheep feet. All right. I'm making a change. This is what I used to feed. I fed a 12% multi-purpose sweet feed. Had that. And then for medicated for coxie, I wanted to get, be sure I had something medicated. So I was using this. This is a 15% protein medicated pellet. And what I was doing or have been doing is I'm using two bags of this, one bag of this, I mix them up in my electric cement mixer, and that's what I've been feeding. Now, that gives me a feed that's about 14% protein. I don't really like to go too much below that, or even a little higher would be better, but in that situation, I was running 14%. Now, I spent some time lately talking with my daughter who works at a seed dealer, feed dealer, and another guy there that specializes in sheep and goats and, and that type of stuff. And I'm switching over to a medicated concentrate. About everything they do on pellets for sheep is medicated. Hard to find non-medicated. I could just feed uh, this and I wouldn't have any medicated feed, but the protein level is only 12%. And most everything they had for sheep was all medicated. So that was okay though. I didn't mind that. I don't mind the medicated. I kind of do like that. But the concentrate allows me to increase my protein without increasing my price. And at times, sometimes when grain price is a little lower, or maybe you are in a situation, you have grain, you have access to various kinds of grain at a lower price, using that with a concentrate might save you a ton of money. I am going to put a calculator. I found a calculator online, and I'll put a link in the description, right next to the sweatshirt. Uh, anyway, I'll put, a, I'll put a link to the calculator down there, and it allows you to calculate various grains or feeds with concentrates to get the desired protein level you want. So let me explain what I did here. I took these two. They were giving me 14% protein, and on average, I was spending $12.08 a bag, all right? $12.08 for a 50 pound bag on average for that. I took the calculator, let me show you here. I took, here's the calculator. I didn't have a grain, so I just had my multi-purpose feed, so I put that in at the top at 12%. Down at the bottom, I listed 32%, that's my concentrate. And in the middle, I said, I want a 16% protein level when I'm done. I hit the calculate button, and as you look down at the bottom, you can see it's 80%, 20%, or four bags to one. So, what I end up with is, I now have four bags of the multi-purpose 12%, one bag of the 32% concentrate. I'll mix them up just like I always did before. And my average cost here now comes out to $12.25 a bag. So, it's gonna cost me, what, 34 cents a hundred, and I'm gonna go from 14% to 16% protein. 
I'll get my 2% gain. I really like that. And to show you the difference, to show you the difference, I take four bags versus one, I get 16%. If I take that calculator and bring it down to 14%, it would take nine bags of the multipurpose to one bag of this. That would be a tremendous savings on the average cost per bag. Because instead of four to one, I'd be using nine to one of the really cheaper feed, and I'd still be getting 14. But if I can get a 16% feed for about the exact same money I've been using for a 14%, I'm going 16%. I want the protein I get. Now, what happens when you can get some grain prices cheaper? I mean, I looked the bag of oats, which is 12% protein by the chart, was still 12 bucks. So and there wasn't any savings there. Corn. Again, maybe about 10% protein on corn. But what happens if you can start buying 50 pound bags of oats and corn, even if you gotta buy them by 50 pound bags and they're nine or $10 a bag instead of $12 a bag. Or you have access to cracked corn. You can get bulk cracked corn, get it cheaper than that. Bulk oats, get it cheaper than that. I'm not even really sure what a bushel of oats is selling for today. I haven't looked in quite a while. But when you can start taking maybe some cracked corn you can, you can get or oats you can get and maybe you can throw a bag or two of sweet feed in and then take the concentrate and mix your own thing that works for you, you might save yourself quite a bit of money when it's all said and done. At least I think it's worth looking at. In my case, I'm up in my protein for the same money I've always been spending and I'm just buying 50 pound bags and doing it that way. So the calculator is down there in the description among other things. And uh, take a look at the calculator. Maybe you can compute it up, calculate out some cost, and end it up maybe in the long run with a better quality feed for your livestock and save yourself some money at the same time. All right, that's, oh, rams. Better talk about that. I think we're pretty much covered. Well, you know how you can tell when pretty much all the ewes are covered? It's because the rams start getting a little frustrated. Yeah, they got to take it on something. When they can't find any ewes to breed anymore, they, they do get a little frustrated sometimes. But I think that means we're about done. We're going to leave them in there for probably about another, what, two to three weeks, end of the year. We'll take them out at the end of the year. Uh, and that'll be something else to look at is what we're going to do with them after we take them out. And we'll discuss that in a future video. Thanks for sticking with me.